Technological harassment refers to the use of technology to view, track, monitor and or harass a person near or from a distance. The technology may include audio and or video surveillance, GPS trackers on vehicles, non-lethal weapons NLWs, directed energy weapons DEWs, and satellites what is known as remote neural monitoring. Remote neural monitoring. Short description of the remote neural monitoring. Remote neural monitoring has the following capabilities. Tracking. Remote neural monitoring is able to lock onto a human being and track that person around. Mind reading. Remote neural monitoring is able to read that person's mind and give response, answer or reply over TV or radios to what you say or think privately to yourself. Assaults. Is able to hit that person with directed energy and is able to tap into all electronics TVs, radios, police scanners, computers with voice morphing synthetic voices, and is able to say things over TVs, radios and voice morph clone or copy individuals' voices then broadcast those voices over police scanners and can imitate any actor's voice or any individual's voice over the TV and respond to what you are thinking or saying in that individual's voice. Capabilities of the remote neural monitor in Thought mind reading, reading of thoughts remotely. Vision. See as in a camera, through the victim's eyes, to see what the victim is seeing. Hearing. Ability to hear and pick up what the victim is hearing. This is how illegal criminal human trafficking and racketeering operations are being criminally run with this remote neural monitoring technology to profit off of unaware, unsuspecting victims. Speech and speaking. The remote neural monitoring has the ability to speak to the individual being targeted through speech, voice morphing and interjections of speech into TVs, stereos, radios, scanners and cellular phones. Speech and speaking. Ability to speak to the victim through the air, or send or broadcast voices or whispers around the target that can appear to come from anywhere. Directed energy assaults, from the remote neural monitoring satellite technology that may come in the form of shocks, jolts, jars, jabs, pokes, taps, stings and burns. Control of sleep patterns, sleep deprivation done by directed energy assaults from the satellite technology. Computer to brain interface control and communication. Complex control of the brain such as implanting thoughts, retrieving memories and implanting personalities. Signs of being criminally targeted with remote neural monitoring. Having your thoughts read remotely. Feeling as if you were being watched. Having individuals engaged in organized stalking against you, dropping hints or conveying to you by actions that they can see you. Being targeted with organized stalking while you are being targeted with remote neural monitoring satellite technology. Organized stalking usually involves electronic technological harassment of some form that is going on at the same time either ground or satellite based. Electronic disturbances within your home, which may include thumping or popping noises on walls, TVs or appliances, light bulbs and TVs flickering. Microwave hearing also known as voice to skull, V2K, which includes being forced to listen to audio harassment or voices, symptoms that mimics and appear to be mental illness, but is not mental illness. Persistent loud ringing in the ears, what is known as silent sound, fake tinnitus. This is common and frequently reported by targets and victims of organized stalking. Hearing tones, or a tone bursts in the ears that may last anywhere from 5 to 10 seconds, that may change in volume and pitch. Transmission of specific commands into the subconscious mind. Visual disturbances, visual hallucinations. Injection of words, numbers or information into brain via electromagnetic radiation or radio waves, or by the remote neural monitoring satellite technology. Being touched or tapped or hit by an invisible force, or having parts of your body suddenly moved. Causing pain to any nerve of the body or to the body using directed energy from the remote neural monitoring satellite technology. Remote manipulation of human behavior, thoughts or actions. Hearing voices or whispers that appear to come from different rooms of your home or the outside of your home. This is done by the remote neural monitoring. Hearing voices or speech interjected into your TV, police scanner, or car radio that responds to what you are thinking or saying privately to yourself. Strangers or family members engaged in organized stalking against the victim, repeating, relaying or parroting back private things that you thought, did, or said while alone, or in private, using directed conversation. The individuals engaged in the organized stalking are being criminally given pieces, and excerpts of the target's and victim's thought process, to repeat or parrot back to the victim as constant harassment and psychological warfare. The remote neural monitoring is being used simultaneously with organized stalking to target, harass, and terrorize individuals by using the target and victim's thoughts, evoked thought potentials, brainwaves to direct and coordinate organized stalking criminal harassment activities against the target and victim. 
Example if the victim is thinking of white snowy weather, on a day that it is not snowing, the criminal or criminal organizers, who have been given illegal criminal access to the illegal thought reading logs, by means of cell phone or computer logs, is intentionally coordinating the organized stalking groups to flood the victim's area with coordinated white vehicles to psychologically harass and terrorize the target and victim. This psychological terroristic tactic is being done with any color, shape, numbers, themes, verbally, symbolic actions, gestures, etc. Remote Neural Monitoring Quotes I know from first-hand experience that remote neural monitoring is a reality. I have witnessed the operational capabilities of this technology and they were later verified by an acquaintance. Along with mind reading, one of the most bizarre uses of a satellite is to physically assault someone. An electronic satellite beam, using far less energy than needed to blast nuclear missiles in flight can slap or bludgeon someone on Earth. A satellite beam can also be locked onto a human target, with the victim being unable to evade the menace by running around or driving around, and can cause harm through application of pressure on, for example, one's head. Citizens are being illegally interrogated within their own homes, without ever being charged with a crime as their Fourth Amendment rights are completely denied them. In the United States alone, thousands of people have already come forward to describe this technology and how it is being used to both illegally spy on them, while also manipulating their thoughts, as they are targeted for non-consensual human experimentation. Famous neuroscientist warns that remote neural monitoring equipment is far from being science fiction and can be used for control of behavior and brainwashing. There are several articles of information that has appeared on the internet regarding remote neural monitoring being portrayed as a crime-fighting and detection tool. Remote neural monitoring was not invented to detect criminal thought inside the mind or for investigations, nor does it have any place or serve any legit purpose in law enforcement. These articles appear to be an obvious attempt to legitimize and condition readers and the public to accept remote neural monitoring as a legitimate law enforcement tool, which it is not, just as organized stalking and harassment is not, and is completely the opposite, and is being criminally used simultaneously with organized stalking to violate, invade, harass and terrorize individuals for years at a time. Polygraphs have served the purpose, and are quite accurate of determining if someone is telling the truth regarding criminal activity. Also, if remote neural monitoring was to be used for that purpose, it would require a complicated warrant, despite the unlawful illegal criminal manner that it is being used on individuals without their consent and their permission. It is quite obvious that warrants are not being obtained, and that remote neural monitoring is being used to intentionally harass and terrorize individuals for years at a time, simultaneously with organized stalking and harassment.